What we're going to do here is a uh, snap down, or you could fake a foot throw, whatever. The point is, Derek wants to get Eric down on his elbows and knees. And when he does, he's going to do a really neat sumigeishi corner counter throw. Again, this is a good sambo throw, but you can adapt it to any jacket sport. Now, in this case, you will need a jacket. So what I'm going to have you do, Derek, Derek, can you guys turn around a bit so you get there, that angle there. So Derek is going to snap him down. So pull him down. Why don't you fake it out like you do a fake a foot sweep, you know? So make it look, you know, semi-legal, like boom. Okay, that's good enough right there. Now, what's going to happen as soon as he's down? You notice Derek had his right hand on the lapel, left hand on the sleeve, kind of a standard, you know, kumikata grip. But now what he's going to do, he's going to quickly switch his grip. So with his left hand, he's going to grab, grab with his left hand right there at the top of the collar by the head. See that grip? His right hand's going to grab the belt. Okay, so you see the grip there? So he snapped him down and he got that grip immediately. So let's look at that. Let's, let's parse that out. Can you do that again for me? I'll get it from this angle. So he snaps him down. Bam. Okay, now he quickly switches grip. Grip and grip. Now, what we're going to come is this. Now, watch Derek's left foot. He's going to step between the elbow and the knee of Eric. See how he stepped in? Okay, now with his right foot, He's going to slide that in, and, and he's going to really roll back into a sumi geishi. So kind of watch, and this is why we do our break falls, guys. So we're going to step in and go, roll him right over, slam over, finish him. And it's really a good move. So let's put it all together, okay? So he, he snaps him down, he catches, he steps in, he rolls him right over in a sumi geishi. That is a totally unexpected corner counter throw. Totally unexpected. Okay, so he snaps him down. He comes in and he rolls him. Here's the, here's the beauty okay. of this one. No, stay, stay where you were. That's, I'll come around to you. Okay, when he does this, I'm going to come around. Look, when he snaps him down, he fakes a, you could, any type of move. You just want him on elbows and knees. That's all, that's all Derek wants him, okay? Now watch when he does this. Quickly grab. He's got real good handles there, okay? He's, you know, like we, you know, we said, everything's a handle. Now he moves in with his left foot, digs in. That's his base leg. That's his anchor. That's his foot on the on the ground there, on the mat. Now with his right one, as soon as he jams that foot to the far hip or even the near hip, it's totally his choice, he's going to roll over his right buttocks and shoulder and he's going to basically throw Eric toward the direction I'm in right now. And there you go. That's a very unexpected way to set up sumigeishi and you don't see it much. Doing this um, sumigeishi off the knees, corner counter off the knees, if he comes high in parterre, this is particularly good against him because he's, Eric on the bottom is giving Derek a lot of room there. Notice the arms are nice and straight. Now if he were down on elbows and knees like we did earlier, it's a little more difficult to get, okay? But a lot of guys, they go parterre if you've knocked them down. So Derek, just go ahead and knock him down. He comes down on hands and knees basically. Even an untrained guy or a wrestler will be, no, 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 yeah, there you go. So let's do it again. Where he comes just on the, just on the hands, yes. <laughs> so pops him down on the hands. Well, okay, we'll, just, we'll live with it. So he's there, okay? Now you can see Derek's got more room to attack. And this is, look at that room. So he grabs the, yeah, like got a big hole there. So there he grabs it, he steps in, and he can throw him actually with even more force because, you know, uh, he's got a lot of room to throw the guy. So go ahead and toss him if you want to. Right. So you can see it's easier if the guy is on elbows and knees and parterre. That's why we say if you're the bottom guy, you know you've been had, realize the situation. Don't go high like that because things like this will happen to you. Okay? You've given him too much room to operate and throw you and, and manipulate your body. So as he hands up and he steps in there, and you can see, and it's look, that looks almost like a standing sumigeishi or corner counter throw. But in this case, he was on elbows and knees. So, uh, one thing, if you, do get, if you do get had, and Derek, snap Eric down, okay? Now, you do it right, boom, okay, see? And, okay, go, go the right way now, okay, elbows, okay. You wanna be that because, see, if he's on elbows and knees, he can start, oper well, we don't want him just to just huddle and hide, but he can start operating from there, you know? But if he's on hands only, there you go, he can grab it. But if he's on hands only, all he can do is just support his body weight, and that allows the top man and to, his and his body weight, yes, and that allows the top man to manipulate him better. 
So now let's just change the drill while we're finishing this up, getting good at it. Not everybody will go down on, on elbows and knees. They may go hands and knees. If they do, this is what they get. So one more time, if you would, this is what I would like you guys to do in practice. Snap them down, come in. Well, he went elbows and knees, didn't he? Okay. We trained him. That's right. Okay. Do it one more time, hands and knees, so the newer guys can see. One more time. You shouldn't have done that. To... There you go. Hands and knees. But do you see, did everybody see the difference in the throw? It was a harder throw when he was on hands and knees than when he was on elbows and knees. So that's why we want to go elbows and knees. We have more, well, less power in letting guy do this. And also we have more adaptability if we're on the bottom. So, okay.